Um, hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I was, as we get another day closer to the rapture, I really felt the need to make this video. So I'm just going to be comparing the Antichrist, who is the devil incarnate, um, compared with the Islam's Mahdi, who, who Islam claims is going to be the savior. So I'm just gonna, going to be proof to you how the Mahdi, um, of, the Mahdi who Islam is expecting is really going to be the Antichrist. So first of all, um, Christianity teaches that the Antichrist will be a leader who has the ability to speak boldly. Islam teaches that the Mahdi will be a lead, leader who has the ability to speak boldly. The Antichrist will have a powerful army that will do damage to the earth, ultimately causing all to follow him. Uh, the Mahdi will also have a powerful army that will do damage on the earth, ultimately causing all to follow him. The Antichrist will be a world leader and rule for seven years. Mahdi will be a world leader and rule for seven years. The Antichrist will change times and laws. The Mahdi will more than likely adopt the Islamic calendar, thus changing the times. And there is a white horse rider in the Bible that is bad news for the world. The Mahdi comes on, comes riding on a white horse. So Islam says like saying the white horse rider is good news while Christianity teaches that it's bad news for the world. The Antichrist and false prophet will promote, promote a one world religion. The Mahdi will make Islam the only acceptable religion. The Antichrist will execute infidels through beheading. The Mahdi will execute infidels, anyone who does not believe in Islam, through beheading. The Antichrist will kill Jews and Christians. He will kill anyone opposing him. The Mahdi will kill anyone who opposes Islam. He will kill the Jews and Christians. The Antichrist will attack and conquer Jerusalem. The Mahdi will conquer Jerusalem. The Antichrist performs many signs, wonders and miracles. The Mahdi performs many signs, wonders and miracles. The Antichrist will make people receive a mark on the hand or forehead to pledge allegiance to him. Followers of the Mahdi usually mark themselves with headbands on the forehead. So I, and these are some of the similarities between the Antichrist and Mahdi. There's obviously more, but I can't get to all of them in this video. So when the Antichrist he comes into power and like officially reveals himself, it's gonna be so easy for him to take power because over there there's well over 1.5 billion Muslims and they've been accept, expecting this guy as their savior who in reality is not is not a savior he's the devil basically so it's just gonna it's gonna be a walk in the park for him to take power because these Muslims they've been accepting him expecting him and they're going to accept him so we Christians know better the Antichrist is not a savior the Mahdi is not a savior he's a devil incarnate so we're getting so close to the rapture. I true I truly believe we are in the season of the rapture. And so yeah, don't get left behind. Accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ loves you. Um come to him with love. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me that he exists and if you don't believe in him, ask him to reveal himself to you. I get into arguments about people. I talk to them how Jesus Christ revealed himself to me so many times and they're telling me no he hasn't. I'm like, instead of arguing with me, with me why he hasn't, why don't you get down on your knees, put your hands together, close your eyes and pray to Jesus that he reveal himself to you. And then once he does reveal himself to you, come and tell me in my face Jesus Christ hasn't revealed himself to you. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, we're really close to the rapture. Don't get left behind. Um, the Mahdi is not a savior. He's he's the he's the devil basically. So even if you do get left behind um, during the uh, ra even if even if you do get left behind during the rapture, please do not fall for the Mahdi's ways. He's a deceiver. Do not. He's the Antichrist. Don't fall for the Antichrist ways. He's a deceiver. He's the devil. He's going to lie to you. He's going to put an RFID chip on on you. Well, at least he's going to try to. So yeah, don't don't take the chip. Do not get chipped. You like the Bible says, whoever takes the chip will basically go to hell. Do not take the chip. And yeah, um, in the description box of this video, um, I I wrote a message. I've been posting that around my university campus. And yeah, do anything you can to spread that message. Whether you're gonna email it, text it, print it out, give it to a friend, anything you can. Um, um yeah, basically and. Do whatever you can in heaven. Uh, we are rewarded rewarded on the works we do on this life. So, even if you get, even if you bring one one person to Christ, even if you're just a born again Christian, you just discover the faith. Even if you bring one person to Christ and one one more person in in the kingdom of, of heaven, um, God is truly gonna appreciate it. And thanks for listening. And also, all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him.